On a sunny but windy day in early spring, doors in Bethel Park open wide to welcome families. But these aren't regular doors, they're barn doors. And the hosts have a tendency to horse around. People come here in search of hope and leave with smiles. Horses with Hope caters to people of all ages with special needs. The program currently offers two types of sessions. One of those is therapeutic riding. It's where um, an individual with uh, a diagnosis comes and they actually get on the horse and ride the horse. And it's through the horse's movement that is extremely beneficial for them. Um, and also socially and um, emotionally. So we teach them a riding skill in the arena, and then we come out of the arena and we go down on a, on a sensory trail. And then down here, we usually will set up like three or four activity sites that will work on different skill sets, whether it be balance or eye-hand coordination or fine or gross motor skills, things like that. Riders are accompanied by an instructor and sidewalkers who are all lower than the riders themselves. They feel like they're independent. So that's a, a really special thing for everybody as well. The other session offered is equine assisted learning, where clients remain on the ground and have face-to-face -face interactions with the horses. And we teach them basic life skills, so trust, honesty, bonding, responsibility, you know, things like that. It'll be a different theme every week that they come. I love the horse so much. In these sessions, the individuals might get to take the lead and guide one of the horses around the arena. They might also have the opportunity to take care of the horse's basic grooming needs while learning about the horses and their behaviors. In the therapeutic riding program, we have um, 49 a week. It's just under 50 um, every week from mid-March through the end of October. And then the equine assisted learning, uh, generally speaking, we do that three days a week, and it can be groups of up to 15 individuals. Um, so it's close to 100 a week that will come through. We're all certified, so we're all certified for therapeutic riding instructors, and we're certified with as an equine specialist for the equine assisted learning program. So we're going to go over three basic tools we'll use. The um, friendly animals, um, they make awesome companions, and, and, and they give a lot of love back to us. Every session takes a lot of planning. Before the session begins, trainers meet together to discuss the plans for the day. While Horses with Hope does have certified instructors, they also rely on their volunteers. When their program first started, they had about 75 volunteers. Now, there are over 100 that help with the certified trainers and riders. Good job! Good job. We have a wait list on all of our sessions. I probably turn away five people a week um, with individuals, you know, just regular students, daughter, you know, sons and daughters that are starting to have um, depression and anxiety. Uh, they're developing tics, they're cutting. They're, um, it's just a, a really terrific time in this world right now, I think. And a lot of individuals are just reaching out, not knowing, not knowing what to do.
we're just here to help people. There's a lot of hurt, hurting people out there, a lot of families with individuals with special needs too. Our, um, <laughs> they struggle. My goal is to be able to help as many as we possibly can, you know, and, and to keep this place running, you know, long, long past I'm gone. Yeah. And these guys do all the healing. This, it's not really a business, it's really a ministry is what it is. And he definitely has his hand on this ministry as well, um, you know, increasing to two farms now, um, increasing the number of instructors. <laughs> two barns, a lot of horses, a lot of volunteers, but uh, wouldn't change it for the world. Couldn't, couldn't imagine any, anything better to do. 